All right, here we are. This is the middle of day number two for renovations on this house. They all went on a lunch break, so I'm taking a little break myself. It's not too early for a beer. Let me just tell you, don't ever lay Mexican tile in your house if you don't, unless you plan on keeping it forever. That shit is a motherfucker. Lenny's fat ass is in Miami. I haven't seen him since he went down there. Had a couple days off to come help a little bit. Throwing so much shit out, doing a little landscaping. This property's fucking huge. It's a pain in the dick. No, I'm not smoking dope on my break. I'm having a, a shitty yingling. These are actually pretty good. There is no podcast. Lenny couldn't drive five minutes to Andrew's house to do a fucking podcast. You think we're going to drive an hour to Miami to do one? Or he's going to drive an hour up to Delray to do one? Food review with Jason? Those are actually pretty funny. He's found his... Maybe he's found his niche. Is Roger Stone actually pumps? No, that was actually Roger Stone that Lenny met when he did an interview with a mean in Fort Lauderdale. Yingling is pretty good. What the fuck? I would never fuck Jane. I'd fuck Jane with Jay's dick, though. Okay, boomer. I'm a fucking boomer. I was born in the 70s. Boomers, you gotta be born in the 50s, right? Fuck yeah, I'm drinking midday. It's my day off. You do yard work, you gotta have a beer. I'm a male prick. Mick Fitness, oh, oh, yo, what's up? Are you that greasy little shit that snuck film Jason? I don't like that shit. Sneak filming is not cool. Even though you didn't really get much out of them because you're too much of a dope to ask any good questions. But still, that's, that's, that's snaky. I don't like that shit. You're a creep for doing that. Yes, new house. Well, I've had it for a few years. It's, a, it's going to be a new house once the renovations are done. You guys want to take a little tour? You want to take a tour? Well, this is the front yard. Oh, no. It's way overgrown. The guy, the renter that was here before did not do any fucking landscaping whatsoever. I'll take you a walk through while these guys stop working. I'll show you. It's a fucking mess, but who cares? Once it's done, it'll be sweet. Here, I'll switch the camera around so you don't have to look at my ugly head. Actually, I can't do it on this fucking thing. The Shitler Estate, that's right. Welcome. We're going into the dungeon. Ready? Look at this fucking disaster. Look at that. These boys aren't playing now, there's four of them. There's four of one translator. Be careful not to fucking trip over any of this shit. They still got a little bit to do here. Quite a bit. Booms. Side here, front room, total fucking mess, got the dumpster today, here's the fucking garage, what do you see this motherfucker, alright ready, this will be the weight room, put Jay's power rack over here somewhere, Here's the main garage. 
I could fit about five cars in this motherfucker if I wanted to. Got the yard equipment, my little tractor here. Of course, got that fucking right there. Yes, sir. It's a fucking jungle, though. What do you see? You want to see the backyard? Look at some banana trees, papaya. Yeah, this fucking guy didn't do shit as far as yard work. More banana trees. Don't worry, you'll see the, this is the before, which you see the after. No, I'm not even gonna attempt to walk through there. Uh, there's the back, a couple of tiki hut. That's all getting torn out too, that whole fucking deck. Take you, take you guys to the chicken coop where Lenny can sleep. Back. It's on an acre. Point three two. Let's go. I'll attempt to walk through this shit. I'm sure you asked all this little fire pit. I gotta clean that shit up. Some landscapers supposed to be coming today. All this shit is so fucking overgrown. This motherfucker was here for a year and a half and did jack shit. There you go. Yes. Got some avocado trees, some mango, papaya. Avocados are there, but they haven't started yet. There's dragon fruits over there. There's a lot of fucking work to do, man. So, oh, my free time will be here. So, don't expect any videos or podcasts. Danny Brill. I <laughs> doubt the Queen's Journal. There's a side, side view of the house. Everything's fucking overgrown. We're getting there though. A couple weeks, two weeks. I told these motherfuckers two weeks. No, you can't plant weed out here, man. I'm surrounded by sheriff. There's a lot of Palm Beach County sheriffs that live out here. Don't fuck with that shit. Once it's legal though, you put your ass. Viet Cong prison camp. <laughs> Uh, you guys are sick. Am I gonna get a beer belly? No. Yeah, Lenny can sleep in the chicken coop. Reminds me of that, <laughs> the movie Friday where uh, Smokey ends up in a chicken coop from smoking some dust with the Mexicans. No gators, I haven't seen any snakes yet. A lot of fucking spiders though. I was knocking down all the spider webs before. It's legal in Florida, but not legal to grow. Unless you gotta have certain permits and shit. But don't you worry. There is no meth lab. <coughs> no mas Jose, what's up? You're always in here. Fuck, do you fucking work, man? <coughs> podcasts in the work. We tried, we've tried to do podcasts, man. It just, you know, shit didn't work. Listen, Lenny canceled... I don't know how many. We've done a little over 60. Lenny's canceled probably 10 to 15. So, what the fuck are you going to do? It's not a priority for us. Dixie Highway's far. I'm west, man. No, West Palm. West, West Palm. Plan to make gym videos there? Possibly. I'm going to put... Uh, Lenny's giving me Jay's uh, power rack. And I'll get some other shit, too. City place? No, that's east, man. Fuck okay, yeah, I'm drinking already. I'm off. It's noon. Shit. Normally, I'd start at about 10 a.m. Working on the house. I did this shit years ago to a house I had. And it took 
me and three other guys four weeks but I did more there than here it is a nice piece of land man it's hard to find a acre and a quarter in Palm Beach County the dog is good she, she, she was here yesterday and she's being a pain in the ass so realize she doesn't like dark people I don't know why. I guess when they're colorblind, they can't, you know, it spooks them out. Eating tacos? I always eat tacos. Janoy's still doing eating videos. That's what he's going to do from now on. And you guys don't realize, that's how he always eats. That's how he's always eating. That's why he can never get in shape. He just never filmed it before. And whenever anybody would try to film him eating like that, he'd flip the fuck out. Because he, you know, he wanted you guys to think that he's actually sticking to a diet. Podcasts or videos, I have no idea, man. We have all the equipment. We just, you know, it's hard to get together. Like I said, from here to where Lenny is living, with traffic, could take at least two fucking hours. Right. He ain't driving up here, and I'm not driving down there. Yeah, I'm on speed. I spoke to Lenny yesterday, and Rob Zilla messaged me yesterday. I'm trying to get Lenny to switch the Cameo app to his phone, but he can't figure it out because I have it on my phone. So if you order a Cameo, don't order one right now until he figures that shit out because they just expire. I can't, you know, there's only so much I can fucking do. He's got to figure it out. He, he can post pictures with fucking, with men with wigs, but he can't figure out how to download a goddamn app onto his phone and do a 30 second or minute Cameo. It's, you know you do Lenny moved because he got a free fucking nice ass place to live and he had to get out of his, his shithole I saw Jason's Golden Corral video it was good that Andrew filmed it it was funny but this fucking idiot dropping a cookie on the floor and putting it back that's so why do not like fucking buffets no thank you how many times does that happen and the manager doesn't see it, you know? Fuck those things. The only time to go to a buffet is when it first fucking opens. Otherwise, count me the fuck out. How long can Lenny live there? I don't know. It's up to the, the owner. He's a very generous guy. Nice guy, too. So, we'll see. Prince Andrew's doing well. I think Lenny's got five years left. That's being very generous. Is it the guru guy? No, it's not a mean. It's, a, it's another guy who will remain nameless. He doesn't want to be thrown into the piss, but he, he's, he's cool. He's a good guy. Big Richard's good. He sends me emails, some fucking... <laughs> he sends me some fun, you know, joke emails. They're pretty funny. So as far as I know, he's good. As long as Richard's emailing me, I know he's alive. Plus, I know his mailman, so he says he sees Richard from time to time. He's still a grumpy old fuck. Ask Lenny about a podcast. There's no podcast anytime soon. Although, I can... I can do one because st I'm still going to be working in Delray and I could, it's five minutes. Andrew's house is five minutes from my work, so I could always do one. Once Lenny moves back up, if he does, and if he doesn't, then forget it. I'm coming to LA, possibly in the f first week of April, I'm not sure. Did you say, can I come film you during renovation to catch when you rage quit and start throwing tools? <laughs> no. I'm letting these guys do most of the work. I'm staying out of their way unless they need help. I'm supervising. Yeah, I see Andrew in the morning. He Andrew goes sporadically in the morning, usually two to three times a week. 
as long as his shoulder lets him. When he goes, I see him. Brad Ma, bro, you like the wig. What wig? Sacramento, we can grab some. Sacramento's far from LA, isn't it? I wouldn't mind going there, though. you drink and I'm drinking gingling if I ever eaten crow Schmitty films you the same guy that does those Lenny videos for your college class those are pretty funny Connor James, why are you so concerned? I go to the gym, I've said it for years. I go to the gym so I can eat and drink whatever the fuck I want. I'm a solid 200 and I'm good. Train to look good naked, like the old Cassidy Campbell. That's all, give a fuck. Nobody here is competing, buddy. Let's see what you look like, you little creep. Tampa? No thanks. Uh, the horror stories that fucking McLeod told me about Tampa, I have no interest. I would go to Bush Gardens, though. So, yeah. Do I ever go back and watch old... No. They're all in my head. I was there. And better shit happened off camera. To be honest. I know you're a solid 250 pumps. That's what happens when you fucking order pizza at midnight. Don't eat carbs after lunch, dude. It's very simple. An intermittent fast for 14 hours. You'll be surprised how quick you drop pounds, even if you're not exercising. I haven't meditated in a while. I only do that when I'm about to have a fucking breakdown and kill someone. Just quit asking about the podcasts. There is no podcast for now. We're on a hiatus. You guys know. You guys already know. We're consistently inconsistent. That's how it is. When it happens, it happens. It's not any of our priority. I'm sorry to tell you. Kill Goddess Hazel and kill someone. Are you going to do a food review with Jason? I don't know. Jason asked me to go to that Golden Corral, but I was I was working. And quite frankly, I don't want to see him taken out like that. Yeah, masturbation's better. You always gotta rub one out before you make any big decision. From freezing Canada, it's fucking it's 80 and sunny here today. It's dry, too. That's what's great about our winters. It's a lot less humidity. Brad Stone Labs, hello. The missus is good. She's very good. She knows what's up. Keep my balls empty and my belly full. Listen up, ladies. Keep your man's balls empty and his belly full, and you will have no fucking problem. Goddess Hazel. Justin Sleeman, good to hear. Jim Junkie Jeff. All right, let me know, man. We're around. I'm going to, once I move in here, which is in a few weeks, I'll be going to another gym. There's uh, LA Fitness that's supposed to open up in Boynton. Which will be on my way to work, so. Delray and Boca is out. But for the next couple weeks, I'll be going there. Keeping the wild empty as well. Wow. Well, yeah, whatever. Not if, you know, if she works too. Yeah, it's nice here, man. It's nice and quiet. It's a beautiful piece of property. I'm glad I'm decided to come out here and it costs just as much as a fucking three bedroom in Boca I got a four bedroom on an eight over an acre what the fuck I've got to be an imbecile not to 
I'll have a housewarming party and everybody, all the misfits are invited. Maybe we'll film something then. There will be a taco station in the new kitchen. There is no winter in Florida, man. It's just, it's just cooler than summer. That's right. That's right, Taco Queen. Laundry and coffee, and I got some beer. Please don't. If, why not? Nate's cool. Nate and Livy will be invited. You guys only know them from the videos you see, which they got to keep PG because it's just, that's what they do. But hanging out, Nate and are cool. They're good people. Why are gay couples never late for a flight? I don't know why. Because Karen is a goddess. She's definitely hot, but she's a dud for a personality. Met her at the Ruby a couple of years ago. Man. Boring. You can't go with these chicks that are so consumed with themselves and their diet and their eating schedule and their workout regimen. You gotta fucking loosen up and have some fun. You don't know how long you're gonna live. Bring around Tupperware fucking meals. Give me a fucking break. <laughs> uh, I meet Lenny's new boyfriend. No. <laughs> How fucking hideous is that? He, dude, I just don't fucking get it. But uh, to each his own, you know. I, I've known guys that like fat chicks. It's just, it's weird. It's fucking weird. I don't know. If Nate and Livia wanted to do some swing, I would just. Not gonna happen. No, that, that ninja's good, man. She's a sweetheart. She doesn't. She doesn't eat her own shit. She's. She's a smart little bitch. She's getting big too. I'm curious to see how big she's gonna be. The rescue said she's gonna be around a hundred. So, Len's new boyfriend looks like high down. <laughs> Hightower from Police Academy. <laughs> oh, that is fucking funny. Put a trail. There's actually a trailer right behind me. The guy got it out before I moved in. I don't know what. The, he must have had somebody. He had somebody living here on the fucking land. Idiot. What is that clicking noise? It's probably me clicking the empty beer can. It's time to go get another one. I think he should hang. I think he should hang himself. He probably wants to after he fucking bang that thing. No, I don't smoke ciggies. No more of that. Connor versus Cowboy. Yeah, that's fucking... I don't know. Connor's still hungry, that's the thing. It could go either way. I think it'll be a good fight, though. I like Cowboy, though, man. I hope he wins. Cowboy, you never hear him backing out of a fight. He takes any fight offer to him. He's a fucking real deal. And Connor's backed up most of what he's his shit talking. And he started all that, you know, the shit talking trend in that sport. So I like both guys actually. I don't really care who wins, which is nice. You don't have a rooting interest, and I would not bet on it. I only drink on the weekends, yeah. So what? Brady to the Dolphins? Oh, thanks. Brady signed a two-year extension, I believe. It's nice not seeing them 
go to the fucking Super Bowl again. No, Lenny lived in Country Club Baker's actually. It's in Delray. Are the sunglasses blocking your nose? Uh-uh. Latin slave is she she was she's in here, she's watching, she's at home doing laundry, packing up shit. Just that she's doing just as she's told. She knows. I thought I saw that Brady signed a two year extension. Who's taking the Super Bowl? Fuck. I don't know. From who's left? Shit. I'd like to see Rodgers get another one. Fuck you. Later. Do you animate wheat? No, what do you mean? How often do you see your kids? Often. Have I gotten pink eye from all the brown trash? <laughs> Ah, not yet. That brown eye is clean. Titans, yeah, the fucking... Hey, Derrick Henry. Vrabel and Henry. Vrabel has done a great job coaching that team. <coughs> Give it to the workhorse, man. Fuck it. Nobody's stopping that guy. What is he? Fucking 6'3", 250? <coughs> He's a fucking beast. And Tannehill doesn't have to do much but game manage. No, I'm not doing PRs anymore. After Jay got injured last year, man, I like fuck that. There's there's no point. Really no point. What's Do the hearts in the corner trigger something with Instagram? I have no fucking idea. No cycle for me. Not necessary. I don't have a swastika to tattoo. I don't have a notch. Some guy messaged me all serious the other day. Brad, it's you really need to get your Nazi tattoo covered up. I don't have a Nazi tattoo. That was photoshopped. I don't smoke much. Miami's going to be a yeah, no shit. And Lenny wanted to do a Super Bowl party at his place Sunday. I, I can't, but I wouldn't go down there anyway, man. Once that game lets out, the traffic coming back, fucking forget it. Four fucking get it. It'll take me three to four hours to get back here. That ain't happening. Since all Mark moved to Orlando... I don't have an Iron Eagle on my chest. My grandfather was a pilot, and those are his wings that I got tattooed on my chest. If you must know, for all you investigators out there, check for skull rec reconstructors. Thank you. I need that. Once I get that done, I'm sure your mom will blow me more. pumps is melting in his LLV. No, it's not that bad out today, man. There's actually no breeze over here, though. No, he wasn't a pilot. <laughs> he wasn't a pilot for the Nazis. <laughs> Postal industry should be privatized? Nah. Well, if they were smart, they're not smart. That That's the problem with the Postal Service. They fucking... Their react is not proactive. They could make a fucking billion billions of dollars a year if they allowed advertising on the trucks removing billboards just make the trucks i've said it for years make the trucks look like nascar they'd pull in so much fucking dough that's probably what would happen if they privatized though choice of pre-workout i like pj's shit quite a bit and tony huge's rage was very good too the steel stuff amped and charged is very good too. They don't, I don't, ha I don't get the fucking, you know, the skin crawl, the tingly skin from that shit. It's very good. But lately, I I don't have any pre workout left. Hey man, 
I'm just gonna fucking shovel. And shovel out that tile. 2020 is gonna be a good fucking year. But lately, I, I haven't had pre workout in a while. So I've just been drinking the espresso and then I mix, uh, bring a Gatorade with me and sip it during the workout. It's worked pretty good. The weather's perfect, man. Pizza, mm, good pre workout. You should have that right after your workout. When go gym, I'll go tomorrow morning. I'm going back to work tomorrow. My lifting goals are to lift the same weight for the rest of my life. How's that? Eight to ten reps with the, you know, on the heavy set. Did you guys ever confront Jane about mistaking Don King for Emma? For what? She, it's so stupid. Beta Allen, that's it. I, I don't like that shit whatsoever. Anything with a lot of that in it, forget it. When you're meeting with Jay Masters, when he comes back, he's gonna park his he's gonna park his truck here. Got plenty of room. You guys saw that driveway; it's huge. Does your CCA T6? No, my T6 is good, man. He knows CCA is fuck it up because they don't give a shit. And I have the same numbers on every street on my route, so it's easy to make a mistake. You know, whatever, I fix it when I go back. Cocaine and hooker sounds good. When will Lenny go live? That's a good question. Listen, man, we've all tried to help Lenny, give him the tools to be more active because he's like, you know, he's all about making the money on there. So like, you got to, you know, you got to post shit more. It's the only way you got to be consistent, which we're not. And, you know, he wants everybody to do everything for him. We've all done all the shit for him and we've showed him how to do everything time after time but he just doesn't give a shit so whatever why should we give a shit yeah jacuzzi is next I'll get money to get a jacuzzi before a pool I'm gonna put it in that back area has your other girlfriend Jay been missing you yeah, Jay messages every day, constantly. You want to see the garage, Pompsy? There it is. There's a dumpster in front of it. The window on the right is uh, is like a separate room. I could turn into an efficiency, but I'm going to make it a, a weight room for now. If the pay was good, would you sell Queen Shoes? <laughs> That's up to her, man. <laughs> Some of you sick fucks would probably buy that shit. Why doesn't Jay go live anymore? Ah, who knows? Because it doesn't pay. Jay's mom was hot probably 30 years ago, 30, 40 years ago. There she she said fifteen buck <laughs> section of the garage to use podcast. I could do I could make it a weight room podcast or whatever. I could do whatever I want with it, but you know, these those guys aren't driving up here for that. From Andrews, it's, it'll take them forty to forty five minutes. That's that's asking a lot. Happy New Year to you too. Still wearing postal shorts? <laughs> no. <laughs> Regular gym shorts on. Love from New Zealand. Thanks, Toter. I said, F1G's, I, uh, Lenny's about two hours from me. That's with moderate traffic. He's, he, he does not like it down there. He called me the other day. He left me a voicemail and then I called him. He's a little homesick. He says... Where he is now to the LA Fitness closest to him takes 40 fucking minutes, and it was just as close as the LA Fitness in Delray to his Delray shithole. It takes him an hour to get to work. He said the traffic is just fucking ridiculous. Everybody speaks Spanish. He's, I don't know. 
It might take some time for him to get used to, but he, uh, right now he's not. He's not too happy. He's happy with the place he's at, of course, because it's nice, but. Thong sandals or slip ons? I wear slides. Get him to take the tri rail and video interactions. It's not a bad idea. You guys tell him. We could suggest until oh, we're blue in the face. He does what he wants. There's nobody controlling him. He dances to the beat of his own drum, as they would say. Yeah, I wish I had a fucking joint right now, to be honest. I don't know shit. Maybe one of these guys do. He makes his new place a shit-smelling pigsty. Who's they? Who is they? Crocs, if Jay got them for you as a gift? No. I actually have a pair of Crocs at work for when it rains, but I never wore them. They're fucking stupid. I don't see... Ch I haven't seen Chuck in a very long time, but he... He pays attention to all this shit, so if you guys want to give him love, go ahead. Do you like the Piss Troopers and Misfit Maniacs? Like, I don't know. You saw you use underwear and socks for Olive Garden. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you people are sick. Lenny's new place is in Doral, which is Miami. Doral Golf Club, which Trump owns. They do a tournament there every year. He's right around that area. I'm going down there to film him on MLK Day. Good. Film him, do another rant, and then it won't get monetized. Never choked in a piece of corn. <laughs> From Taco Queen's chocolate starfish. No. Nope. That asshole is clean. Is Will still shredded to the bone? Yeah, I saw Will. I think it was like a month or so ago. Looks great. Coach Andrew Tamika. What about Synthon Mark, Coach Andrew or Tamika? Coach Andrew, I he he doesn't even he I don't think he deleted his Instagram. He doesn't go on there. I haven't spoken to him in a while. Last time I saw him was one of the last fights he came out and watched. How far is the new place from the old place? Depending on without traffic, 45 minutes. Jason, Jason still is and always will be a fat shit. I've driven through New Mexico. I drove from here to Vegas when I moved out there. And New Mexico, I was hallucinating because I hadn't slept in over a day. And the, the night before I left, I got about three hours of drunk sleep and then drove all the way there. And I can't even tell you. We made, we made, me and another guy made it from Boca to Vegas in 36 fucking hours. Straight through. Jason can't speak English. What do you think about Conor McGregor's comeback? At this point, why bother when you got a hundred fucking million in the bank? I don't, I can't see him being as hungry as he used to be, but it's good, it's good for the UFC. Seeing as how it's so fucking watered down with guys you don't fucking know. You think San Fran or Green Bay this weekend? Well, San Fran's got a better defense, and it's in San Francisco. But I, I hope Rodgers goes. I don't see Jimmy Garoppolo in a fucking Super Bowl. I'd rather see Rodgers go. <coughs> Projection for Wilder versus Fury fight. I don't know, but that first one was great. So it should be a good one. Would you buy season tickets for the Miami Dolphins? Absolutely not. Let me ask you something. It's just like anything else you pay money for. If you go to a restaurant and it's mediocre at best... 
how often are you going to fucking go back? Until they put a good pro- I mean, I'm, I'll always be a fan of the team, but the owners are fucking dope. And, you know, they, they rape you there. You go down, it's not just the ticket. The ticket prices aren't bad now because they stink. But they get you $30 for parking, fucking $12 for a goddamn beer, $10 for a fucking hot dog. It's it's insane. You go down with four people, you're spending at least 200 So why would I spend up when I have a fucking HD TV? It's You know, it was different back in the day when there was no... When the TVs weren't as good, you go to a game, you, you know. But fuck that. Fuck that. And like I said, you go to a restaurant and it's not very good, the fuck are you going to go back? Are you happy the Raiders are moving to Vegas? To be honest, I don't really give a shit. But it'll be cool. I'll definitely try to get to a game. No, I'm not an LSU fan. I'm a Miami Hurricane fan. I like all the Miami teams. Fortunately or unfortunately. Yeah, bottle of water is $10. It's fucking, it's just stupid stupid but they gotta pay to keep the lights on yes I've been to a dolphin I went to the when the San Diego Chargers came here this year I went to that dolphin game I think I put stuff I don't know if I put it on my story here or on snapchat when I was there I was on the uh, Charger sideline. So Philip Rivers flipping out. He's a modern day Marino. Put up fucking big numbers and never win a Super Bowl. It's a fucking shame. I have gone camping, yes. Yes, I still work out at the gym. Chiefs or Titans. I don't know. I think the Chiefs Green Bay would be a more exciting Super Bowl than Titans and fucking San Francisco, to be honest. I have a Snapchat. I don't post much on there. I don't know. This shit's got... Uh, you guys see, I, don't, I rarely post shit anymore. It's just... It got boring and I'm busy. The Miami Heat, yeah. They should be in the playoffs. Any plans to come to Utah? No. Although I heard it's beautiful there. You need an update, bro. <laughs> no, TikTok. I, don't know. I, I barely post on Instagram and Snapchat. Why would I do a fucking TikTok? Titans, baby. People are sleeping on them. Santa Hill has been really good. Tannehill has been doing what he's... It's Derrick Henry is winning. He's... Dude. What did he run for? Over 200 yards. Tannehill threw for under 100. Come on. But Tannehill is... He's serviceable. I do not still own a skateboard. Right now, I would say the podcast is on hiatus. I can't tell you. I'm not going to tell you. You guys are asking me about the podcast because fucking Lenny told you to ask me on one of his lives. So he's Lenny can be a fucking troll too. Why don't you ask Lenny? He's a lazy fuck. Titans definitely have a shot. I stopped filming with Jason in the gym because it was so repetitive and just he was fucking up my workouts and... I don't know. I felt like I've said everything I could possibly say to that man. It just got it got boring. Looking good. What tra- Hamburg? What the fuck? You you have no idea what Lenny has fucked. And that it, you're right. It's disgusting. He could post that stupid shit, but he can't do a live, right? It's. It's fucking bonkers. It's 
Sounds weird calling Jason and Mary's the mind of a chair. That's a man child, that's right. You guys can't hear me? We just started fucking cracking that shit up again. <sighs> Fuck off Hamburg. <laughs> no union breaks with landscaping. Well, my union. You can hear, okay. Don't listen to, don't listen to the trolls. Eh, whatever. Trolls are gonna troll. A lot of the trolls are fucking funny. Some are stupid. I know when you guys are joking and when you're not. I troll you right back. I can be, I think I'm triggered when I could give two fucks. Shotgun a beer. <laughs> no, I'm not in Everglades. Do I miss the old original Misfit days? Yeah, it was a good time, man. And when I go there before work, everybody would be there. It was good. Lenny would come in later, so I would see him on my day off. Nazi tattoos while your slaves work on it. The... Listen, these motherfuckers are getting paid. And they're not working for free, so... You kiss my dick. One of the guys told me last night, because they're, they're, these guys are busy now. they got a lot of jobs to do. Said, God bless America. I said, that's right. You're damn right. Stop with the deportations. These motherfuckers work hard. Never bring Jason with you in a restaurant. He would yeah, who cares? I've, I've eaten at restaurants with Jason's. Listen, the waiter, waitress, bartender, whoever serves Jason... Talking to him, 10 seconds, they know he's off. So it's what it is. <laughs> Do I think Hillary Clinton's cunt looks like a worship plate? <laughs> I think she's got a cock, to be honest. I love what fucking Nick DiPaolo calls her fat ankle dog face. <laughs> uh, the corrupt cunt. All those politicians are fucking corrupt. Fuck them all. Bunch of bullshit. But Jason is built like a tackling dummy. That's good. <laughs> uh, successfully impeached. Oh, please. Will I adopt Jason when Jane kicks a bucket? No, Jason will be set up for life. You guys, don't worry about Jason. Grandma's got buckaroonies. El Sancho, go ahead. I'm not shotgunning a beer pumps. <laughs> Besides your own politics, you'll get fired. Exactly, they're all full of shit. Why am I not dying it? Because why? Who gives a fuck? Do something rad like eat grass. <laughs> Nobody's training Jason. For what? There's no point. In... Hamburg, don't worry about it. We got you all set up. And Lenny's boyfriend looks like Michelle <laughs> Growing up in an adult daycare like they, they, I have no idea. I probably won't know him then. Blunts or joints, joints. Blunts are a little too harsh for me. I used to prefer blunts, but joints are, joints are good. Jason, you set up for life. He's a Oh, you guys just have no idea. I try to tell you, I'm the most honest one out of, you know, Andrew is, but Andrew doesn't go on these, whatever, but I'll tell you like it is.
Looks like Evander Holyfield. <laughs> Jason can only lean out if he's starved. Is it true Taco Queen bleached her? Yeah, she bleached it. Never done DMT, no. Dabs or edibles. I'll tell you what, man. Those fucking dabs that Christian brought over on one of those podcasts, I was in fucking outer space. That shit is serious. These these young kids with this... They're... When I was growing up, it was either regs or crip. Whatever you had money for. Now it's like, ow. I would like the sativa, the indica, the hybrid. Everybody just shut up. If it looks good, smells good, smokes good, it's good. And the gang should head out to Orange County. I know. We possibly... In the first week of April, I was planning on going to Vegas and L.A., but we'll see. We'll see much how much I dump into this fucking house. I haven't messaged with Tony in a while now. Like I said, I'm busy with this shit, man. I don't really... It's nonsense. Rob Zilla stopped... Yeah, whatever. He's... Mexican seed weed, no shit, no way. It smells like ammonia, no thanks. There used to be a lot of that shit coming down here. You don't see that anymore. It's too much good stuff. How's Greg? Greg is good, man. Greg is hilarious. He, You would think he was on fucking coke 24-7, but he's just naturally... Hyper goofy. He could be a stand up comedian and fucking kill it. But his passion is cooking. He's a great chef, too. He's one funny motherfucker. The funniest person I've ever met, without a doubt. I don't know if Jason still works out. I think he. I don't think he really ever quote unquote worked out, but he'll go to the gym. Make only fans for Taco Queen Bar. What is that? The bedroom bully, he's filming fucking stray dogs at, at um, food trucks. Leave the taco queen home and go to Thailand. Eh. He's never really into Asians, man. I, I don't know. You know. They all got that frying pan to the face look to them, flat ass. Eh. I don't know. I don't really do much for me. Andrew Kalora? I don't know, man. I haven't spoken to him in a while. I haven't seen him do anything on here either. Supervisor and driver, the video of him were all just the best. Yeah, well. I'm done. Listen, the days of me spending my days off driving around filming with Lenny and going to the gym and shit are over, man. I, I don't. I just don't have the time for it anymore. We did that a lot. And how many of those can you fucking do before it gets old, let's be honest. it's But it's the same thing with you guys. We're damned if we do and we're damned if we don't. If we post shit constantly, you're attention whores, you don't want the money. And if we don't post at all, we're at. So either way, we're fucked. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Only fan is a Patreon for porn. <laughs> I'm not doing porn with that. Jaded. Eh, maybe a little. So shit before the shift at FedEx. Fuck the USPS putos. Thanks, buddy. Just don't put your packages in the mailboxes, you cunt. It drives me fucking nuts when I see a FedEx package or a UPS package in one of my mailboxes. That's not for you, you lazy prick. Guys, stop asking about filming. He's in a relation. It's not about me. I'm not the only one involved, dude. It takes... It, there's many components to filming. When Jay was here, he wanted to do a video on a Monday. I was. I said, let me know I'm available. Let me know when I'm there. Why it doesn't happen. I'm not the only one, dude. And I don't have a fucking... I don't have a camera. I don't, uh, I don't have the computer to upload shit 
but I've told those guys know listen I've gone out of my way more than anybody and they will not deny that shit I always make myself available when there's something going on but you know it is what it is none of us really give a shit that's what you guys don't understand it's not that big of a deal if we were attention whores we would fucking do more shit or if it was lucrative maybe but it's really not so exactly Chuck E. Cheese Ranch and I appreciate that other check you sent me too yeah I had to I had to bitch about it for you guys to start sending checks all you content stealers I appreciate it. That's what's paying for this house. Yeah. All the YouTube money, podcast money, uh, all that is paying for this. Merch, yeah. t-shirt money. <laughs> uh, which I haven't seen a dime of for months, Pomps. Where's my check at? Like, like, like they say in the hood, where my check at? <laughs> But I know there's not, they're not selling because we don't do shit. And I don't blame people. Why should they buy shit if we're not doing shit? Crackhead Lou's. I haven't seen, Lou hasn't posted shit in a while. Is Lenny doing a reality show? Fuck no, he's not. Okay, I'll tell you about that because they want to be secretive. I don't give a fuck. He, uh, he auditioned or, or signed up for Survivor. He sent in an audition tape. I fucking told him, don't waste your time. You ain't going to pass it. Those people have to pass a fucking physical. You think with his medical history and the shape that he's in, that they would actually let him go on that fucking show. Not a chance. Not Survivor. But, fuck do I know. But Pomps and McCuck had a bug up their ass and thought they could get him on there. So, whatever. Pump said something about a fear factor, too, which I didn't even know was a fucking show anymore. It would be pre- actually pretty fucking funny, but, but Lenny, there's no way they would approve him to go on that show. Right. And, and But Lenny's funny, because I told him, I said, Lenny, you ain't passing the physical. You, you can't go fucking... 30 days with eating rice and whatever the fuck they feed. He's like, oh, no. He's like, when the cameras are off, they all go to a nice hotel and get fed. I'm like, I don't fucking think so, man. The Amazing Race, that's another one I think you probably would have to pass the physical. And I don't... Listen, all those kind of quote-unquote reality shows, for the most part, that has to do any kind of physical shit, you got to pass the physical. And Lenny will not. There's not a chance. All right, I got a minute 45 remaining. Get your shit in here quick. And then I'm going to go back to drinking beer and watching people work. I don't have baby blue eyes. Ninja does, though. Man versus beer. All right, minute 27. Can't believe I went for a fucking full hour. See what happens when I get a few beers in me? Read your comment. What comment? Jay didn't steal no money. He should do American Ninja Warrior. Yeah, right. Again, he won't get approved. I showed the house earlier. Go back and watch. I'm sure Chuck E. Cheese Ranch will post this on his fucking YouTube. You little cunt. Checks in the mail, right? Who's that the live with a Jason blow kiss? Watching Mexicans is... You know, they're not Mexican. They're actually Brazilian. They're speaking Portuguese. Which... Not for nothing. I, no offense to any Brazilians that speak Portuguese. That language is fucking irritating. I can't stand listening to pe- Portuguese people. All that shit. Ugh. But they work their ass off. So that's good. Oh, it's not Mexicans or Brazilians. I just said it. All right, 15, 14. Connor, Cowboy. Eh, don't care. I hope Cowboy. All right, fuckers. Bye.